This recipe for chicken goujons is so quick and so delicious and the key is in the breadcrumbs is first of all blending some cornflakes would you believe it which give great texture and some of the simply better chia batter breadcrumbs for mr crumb so this is what i've done here just literally put them into the food processor added in some sesame seeds and a little bit of fresh uh, parsley these will keep for about a week in your fridge and you can freeze them so what i'm going to do next we're going to pan it so it means dip it in seasoned flour a little bit of egg wash that's a couple of eggs a little bit of milk and them into our breadcrumbs and literally just shallow fry them so these are the chicken that we're using borbia quality assured this is the corn fed the mini chicken fillet so these are really really tender and delicious and you've seen me using this in quite a few of my recipes i really really like them uh, it's fed on maize produced in um from a Cavan company up Cavan, so it is excellent, so it is. So I'm gonna show you them a little bit of oil first of all. We're gonna show the technique of the panne. So remember the breadcrumbs is just cornflakes, giovata breadcrumbs, sesame seeds for texture, and I can just add a few more in just to show you, sprinkle them in like that, and then mix them through, and parsley if you want to. You don't need to put parsley in, but I think they add lovely freshness. So these are the little strips of chicken. So you dip it first of all into the flour. So remember this is plain flour with a little bit of salt that's what we call panne and then the egg wash is a little bit of egg and a little bit of milk so what happens here guys is that the flour seals in the chicken but it helps the egg stick this is really important and then the egg wash will help the breadcrumb stick so you can make extra of these and um, these are small little the little mini fillets <clears throat> and what you can do is do extra i'll just keep the plate and then you can pop them into the fridge or you can freeze them so this is really important and um, well it's not really important it's a tip so what you do is keep one hand in the egg and one hand dry and then sprinkle this all over if you look at the way i'm just pressing that nice and gently and that's our crumbed chicken so the same for this make sure you coat it all in the egg and then literally arrange it and press it see the way i'm being nice and gentle I'm not putting a huge pile of them in. I'm just looking here. I think I missed a little bit in this one here. Okay, so the pan is preheating. Okay, so it's on a low heat. So just be nice and gentle, and then we get these. These are not gonna take long to cook, a couple of minutes. So we're gonna pop them onto the pan, and then you can make batches of this. I, I, I love doing extra of these. You get your lovely fresh Irish chicken. This is the corn fed, so it's fed in maize, and I just love the flavor of it, to be truthful with you. Cornflakes is different now. Remember, they're going to be slightly sweet, really, really crunchy, and uh, I think delicious. Okay, so you've had raw um, meat in the breadcrumbs. You can label it and you can freeze it. There's absolutely no problem. Now, it's getting a wee bit hot, so I need to be careful. Might actually move it to a lower ring. So turn this on here. And then we're going to shallow fry this. Now, we'll put a little bit of butter in. So you definitely want a good hot pan. Now you can bake these off in the oven at 180 and they'll take about maybe 12 to 14 minutes. It really depends on the thickness of them. Put them onto some parchment paper. So normally when you do that, it's going to absorb, it's going to absorb any excess oil, which it will. So we'll put a little bit more oil and butter. And remember after handling any kind of raw meat, you need to wash your hands. Really, really important. So I'm a big believer, you'll know from a lot of my videos when I use a little bit of oil and I'm using some nice rapeseed oil. I just think it's a great product. So this is it here. We're going to turn up the pan again. And then we're going to put a little drizzle. I'm not going to pour it over the chicken. And then we're going to put some butter in. So a couple of pieces of butter. If I just use only butter, what will happen is that the butter will burn. As simple as. Now, that's lovely. So I'm just going to let that cook away there. I might put another little bit of butter this side here. So that's kind of like, and the butter will give so much beautiful flavor. Trust me. If you were to ask me, is it nicer done in the oven or in the pan? I think the pan with the oil and the butter wins hands down. But it's totally up to you. They'll still be delicious um, in the when you cook them in the oven. 180 parchment paper, which means they won't stick. So I'll turn them in a few minutes. I'll turn them after a minute. I'll just, I'll just keep a little lie on them. Uh, I'll turn down the heat. I'm going to show you a very, very simple dressing. So we're going to use this lovely yogurt. So this is from Cologne Farm. They're based in Wexford. Okay, so this is their natural yogurt. There is no um, there is no added sugar. It's made from milk from their own herd. Uh, they're absolutely fabulous family, so they are. So I'm just making a small amount of this. For a little bit of sweetness, we're gonna use this Spanish Aaron's Blossom Honey. So this is from Leaven Foods and they're based in Kilkenny. 
So I'm going to put a spoonful of the honey in for a little bit of sweetness. Okay. Now, just going to move back over to the chicken. It's going to turn up the pan and we're going to flip them over. So we want to get them until they're nice and golden brown. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. And that's what you're getting from the butter and the sesame seeds. You get lots of lovely flavor, texture. And remember, because they're so thin, they're going to cook really fast. Now I'm really happy with them. A good uh, nonstick pan. I'm sure you know where you can get that. And then just flip these over here. There's no need to add any more butter. I'm really happy with them. And the key is not to have the pan too hot because if you do, they're going to burn as simple as that. So just um, turn them up full and then reduce the temperature. So I'll just let that just cook away there. They're not going to take long at all to cook. Okay, so just to recap, we have some Cologne and uh, natural yogurt. We have a little bit of honey in there. We're going to put in some full fat mayonnaise. Just a spoonful of that and then some mustard so this is some Dijon mustard so there's a nice bit of a kick to this so you can use some whole grain mustard if you want in this so just a teaspoonful of this and then I'm just gonna put some salt a little bit of pepper and chop a little bit of basil so it's a really really simple kind of dressing these are delicious on their own with salad you don't even need this dressing that I'm showing you or what you could do is put a little bit of sweet chili sauce if you like that so a little bit of black pepper and then because I have lovely fresh basil, I don't have any chives here, you could use some lovely chives in this. We're just gonna roll this up and we're gonna pop this in here. Okay, so when the chicken is nice and firm, it's not far from being done, it's great. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this really, really thin, guys. So you roll, you curve your fingers. And you're, this is a real kind of a thin little chiffonade. So this is some lovely fresh basil. So you can just pick these up your local duns and uh, I just really like them this is where I got them just in my local duns the fresh basil you can put pesto into it and that dressing is really really simple you just got to mix it all through so you have the yogurt which gives lovely acidity and there's no added sugar and um, it's made with uh, really beautiful fresh milk so it's kind of like a runny kind of a dressing so it is the the honey gives a light nice bit of sweetness to it too so just make sure it's all mixed through Okay, we're gonna just bring over my little dish. I'm gonna just turn over my chicken and then we should be ready to serve up. It's as quick as that. So the breadcrumbs can be made ahead. You can have them done. They're looking beautiful. Lovely. And like if you're nervous, just cut into the chicken, but I know by touching them, and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. And then if you come in here, now I've turned down the heat, so we're pressing that. If it's any way soft, it means that it's still a little bit raw in the center, so make sure that it's cooked. So it's definitely quicker in the pan, it's tastier for me, but if you want it in the oven at 180. So we'll just literally pour our dressing. In the other little dish, what I have here, guys, is a little bit of cod salad. You can use any kind of salad, which works really well. And then we just literally arrange our nice little kind of goujons, turn them over again. And that nice little tip for you, you know, with the cornflakes. I think these are so good. Just arrange them, make sure they're cooked through. And that lovely kind of crunchy kind of like uh, texture you're gonna get from the cornflakes and the gia batter, it's a bit delicious. Actually, these in a wrap is gorgeous and I can get that lovely bit of sweetness and that's probably from the from actual cornflakes. So that's my uh, crunchy uh, chicken uh, goujons with that lovely little kind of like it's a, a yogurt, honey and mustard dressing, a little bit of salad. And I think that is a really, really simple recipe. These goujons can be made ahead. We're using this really nice, these are the little fillets. So it's the little uh, piece of chicken breast underneath the breast at the mini fillet. So they're always tender, board be quality assured, which is really important. So I think everyone in the family will enjoy this, whether it's with a salad, with chips or with a baked potato, Data, or even in a wrap. I think the, for me, they tick all the boxes. So enjoy this very simple but tasty recipe.